Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy, Box. Now, we're gonna get into something real serious here. Come, come here, come here. It's a secret, okay? Hold on. Let's talk about Zox, okay? Now, I don't know if you guys know, but Zox is pretty annoying, right? Can, can, can I get an amen? Amen? Okay, yeah. Like, how is he, for one, how? How in the world is this dude bald and handsome? I don't understand it. I thought I was the good looking one. You know, you see the hair? <laughs> yeah, I thought I was the good looking one, but I don't know how he does it. I don't know how he does it. And then he wakes up every day and he's uploading consistently. I swear the man never sleeps. It's always tangible information that actually matters. That is just so upsetting. I just don't understand it. Like, I don't know, but he needs to get off of my recommendations. I just want him to be deleted off of the face of the universe. I cannot stand being his twin. Imagine sharing DNA with him. Imagine. Imagine. What the? What? What the heck? Oh, oh, yay. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Zox, and we're back with some more dislike, okay? Now, we're going to be getting into the shop. Things you can buy. How to spend your money right, man? I'm trying to help you here, sir. And this is for those that want to spend a little bit and those that want to spend a lot, okay? Now, of course, if you find that you like this video, definitely make sure that you like and subscribe for the best dislike content. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into it because we don't got no time to waste, all right? So first things first, guys, let's talk about what I would consider one of the best buys you can get just across the board, and that's gonna be the monthly pass or the impasse. I think that this is definitely a good buy. Now, granted, this is my free-to-play account, so I will not be purchasing it on this account, but I will say that if you are looking and you got 10 bucks, this gives you really, really good value. Let's actually go to the upgrade button real quick. Now for 10 bucks is valued at, it says 3,000%. I will say like, fair, to, to be completely fair, this is a, a, a pretty good value. 32 freaking stamina pots. I mean, overall, what I like to do is I actually let stuff accumulate and then I claim it all at the end of the month and I just feel like a god. So yeah, it ends up being really, really nice. Of course, those that want to do the Radiant Impasse though, that, that is going to be an interchanging, uh, or interchanging name card that um, happens every month. So so this is something that if you're one of those guys that loves memorabilia or collecting things like this, this is definitely something that you could go for. On top of that, the M coin of Tice 500 pushes you a little bit further into your monthly pass. Um, but overall, guys, you can actually finish this like to be completely fair way before the month is out like they give you more than enough time and you're able on a daily basis to collect enough m coins so that you're able to actually fill this out but i will say that even at the 20 dollars value like that's really not that bad but overall i will say minimum like i do say like if you really want the biggest bang for your buck overall um, and you're not trying to go too crazy, this $10 impasse is really, really good to go for. I really do think it has some good, some good stuff in it. Uh, so that's gonna be that, right? Now, let's actually go into the plaza. I wanna talk about a couple of things here. Now, as you can see, I haven't bought the uh, welcome pack at all. I will say that for this to have a free four star character for 99 cent with a daily three um, gold records, I think 99 cents is worth it, I would say. I feel like out of the welcome packs, the first two are probably the most valuable. So it's about six bucks total plus whatever respective tax you have. Um, you actually get a uh, set as well. Now, obviously, if you're a little bit deeper into the game, you probably don't need this. But I will say the gold records, five bucks with the set makes it about right, I guess. With I don't know what the point is of this one experiment, unless this is like a 75,000 one, which I think it is. But still, I'm just saying, overall, for somebody that's coming in and figure out if they want to actually do the welcome pack, I think that the first two are definitely worth it. Once you get to the third one, I will say that this one is kind of sort of like for funsies like because you just want to um you do get two four star abilamont and six gold records um they also give you this name card as well uh so if you have it sure but i really wouldn't push past the first two um but it is kind of like a totem pole so i, I mean it also could be argued like if you're already going that far you might as well get the last one but i will say the first two for sure right so that's that 
now let's go into the rookie special offer i definitely think that this currently has the highest value uh in terms of packs that you can buy um i would say all of these are pretty good considering uh the 500k gold sure or whatever right um but the 10 gold records if you think about and let's go back and look at the actual value of um let's see enough for let's see so $20 is going to only get you seven. <laughs> it's only going to get you seven gold records on the basic record pack. Whereas when you look at like the rookie, 10 is going to be coming with 500K and that's 15 bucks in comparison to the 20, right? So the value of this overall is the current best value, I would say, out of the packs. Um, they do have, and they did have probably this last weekend that just passed, a weekend special offer. It's a little bit less in value, I think, than this, but those are still even better than the basic ones that are in the shop. So I would say buying those on the weekend, and then, of course, obviously your rookie special offer. They usually have some other ones that come in. Like if you're going through the process of ranking up, there is growth packs as well. Those actually have some value. I will say that the higher you go, though, the more value that those kinds of packs have if you want to buy those um in terms of the actual packs here obviously not talking about this one you definitely will have a, a decent amount of value coming out of the ten dollar 10 day supply pack um you're able to actually get four supply um stamina packs plus 100k go instantly and then they give you that also for the next 10 days so that's pretty much a dollar a day and considering the value of this i would say that's actually pretty good I, i'm not gonna cap that's actually pretty good if you want to get that one um then when you go to the daily new record it's a dollar 99 for five for 50k gold and one gold record psych see you later i um daily supply this one is giving you two stamina packs 30 nexus crystals and 20k gold for a dollar it's okay i guess but doing it all the time probably not i mean that's like really like hey you don't got nothing better to do i, I got a dollar from google play so let me use it um but <laughs> then you got your gold supply uh definitely don't re really recommend buying this to be quite honest the value of nexus crystals is kind of garbage but then on top of that to be quite fair you can get gold like uh, like a lot simpler than you think to be quite honest so if you're buying that you're definitely kind of welling a little bit it's i don't think it's necessary to be honest um epic abilamon with the 100 nexus crystals for five bucks i don't think that's worth it you do have it on a weekly rotation and if you can be patient to be quite honest you can get that i mean with a lot of the stuff patience is key but um then you have the 30 dollar pack for the legendary abilamon uh with a thousand nexus crystals and 300k gold i will say that like if you are one of those people that just want to rush abilamon then this might be okay for you but if you're one of those like much lower invested spenders or you're really only aiming to spend for the month you definitely wouldn't want to get this so then of course basic records definitely not uh advanced or yeah advanced records for 50 bucks 19 gold records yikes uh <laughs> elite uh record pack it comes with the 40 gold records this is like one of those like well 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 things um definitely do not buy the gold pack i mean for a thousand nexus crystals you will burn through that i mean especially if you're on like six star relics at this point and i know there's probably a couple of people that are this is not enough like i promise you it's not like six star relics for plus 15 and all that jazz is just ridiculous and wasting a thousand nexus crystals i don't feel is worth it uh, now moving along um other really really good ones for those that um you know say you don't actually have enough to buy even the uh impasse you can still get the uh super bonus uh, monthly card and this is going to give you a total of 3.3k um nexus crystals so they give you 300 instantly and it's 100 a day if you're one of those people that like to stack that's really good then they have the black gold monthly card um the cool thing with this one is that it actually will give you 10 percent more xp 10 percent more gold drop and then also uh 30 uh max stamina as well so i wish these damn things would stop moving all right there we go uh but yeah that's pretty much what you get there 980 uh, nexus crystals up front um and 150 a day for 30 days and it ends up totaling up to 5.4k nexus crystals so for 15 bucks this is really not a bad buy and then that overall xp and gold gain um it's definitely going to add up for sure over 30 days so that's pretty good um now of course you have your double buys i always would say if you are one of those people that want to go in and buy the crystals double buys and most games are usually the best time 
it really is the one time thing that you're able to really get that's of like extremely high value um the 99 obviously that's giving you almost 13k nexus crystals uh and so the double value that's an easy easy like go ahead and buy those if you really are spending that amount um but outside of that once they kind of drop that's up to you and your own discretion all right so yeah i mean that's pretty much everything i would say in terms of the packs the only one that we're kind of missing is the weekend packs and those usually will show here in the growth packs those also show as you rank up your account um, and they are not obviously going to be things that pop up all the time now um i will say that you know and i want to kind of give this disclaimer for those that like have you know spending problems listen man you don't have to spend okay i want to be the voice of reasoning you do not have to spend to actually do well and dislike but if you want to treat yourself or you want to you know contribute or you know help out the game in some way if that's your you know your prerogative then by all means the you know value packs uh definitely for like the monthly passes are really good buys but um you know don't feel pressure don't feel pressured okay all right all right cool you good all right, just want to make sure you're okay. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to be that for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And let me know if you guys have any questions, but I'll catch you guys in the next one.